All right, thank you. Um, thanks, everybody. I was talking on mute. Um, yeah, hopefully all of you were able to recognize this song. This was uh, Harry Potter. I think this was Hedwig's theme, right, if I'm right. Um, but welcome to the first Strive Math Plus Code session. We're going to have a lot of fun today. We just had the first session this morning at 10 a.m. So this is this is round two. Actually, quick question. Um, is this your first time in this lesson? Yes or no? Is this your first time doing this specific lesson? Okay, awesome. All right, it's everyone's first time. We have one person who said no. They're probably a repeat from this morning. I love it. Coming back for seconds. Uh, glad, glad this time worked out for you. So, all right, let's do a quick warm up. Um, I'll introduce myself really quickly. So, my name is Pulkit. You may have seen me in the marketing and advertising. And I've started a company called Stride Math. We're teaching math and code. So, we're doing these sessions for Chinese New Year. So, Xin Yan Kuai Le, everybody. Um, if you're joining in from different countries, maybe it's not Chinese New Year for you. Actually, what countries are you joining in from? Can you tell me on chat? So we have Singapore for sure. Anybody else joining in from different countries? Someone from the UAE, let's go. That's pretty far. Anybody further than UAE? Malaysia, India, awesome. Anybody else from anywhere else? I guess US, everybody's sleeping in the US now, right? So nobody from there, <laughs> that makes sense. Cool, so I went to Georgia Tech for undergrad. I studied mechanical engineering and then I did my MBA at Stanford. I just graduated six months ago, and then I moved to Singapore. I'm very new here. Um, I've only just like been to like Sentosa and Marina Bay Sands. Oh, I've been to the, um, the restaurant Lavo on top of Marina Bay Sands. Has anyone been to, have you been to Lavo? It's on like the, the boat deck of MBS. Have, the question is, have you been to Lavo? Yes or no? Okay, all right, 70% no, 30% yes. Interesting. Okay, cool. Yeah, I quite liked it. I mean, I thought it was, I thought it was pretty cool. Um, yeah, so I just, I, I quite knew, so just um, learning and knowing about Singapore. So we're going to do a lot of cool stuff. Um, before that, can everybody write down in chat, let's see, what is your favorite animal in chat? Can you write that down? What's your favorite animal? Oh, somebody said swan. Okay, I like it. Seahorse, tiger, rabbit a horsey oh we got a couple of dogs there we go dog people are a little late falcon someone says i don't know i don't think i don't know is an animal <laughs> someone says doggo is an animal cool uh dogs tiger cool all right lots of cool animals uh, nobody said ox is the year of the ox i guess i guess not not so um puppy oh yeah there's a difference between puppy and dogs right you, i definitely like puppies more than i like i like dogs well cool so we're going to get started today, and what I will do is I will share my screen from another device here. And so we will do this together. Let's see. Does this work? Cool. Excellent. All right, this is working. Superb. So what I would like everybody to do is go to Google, so google.com. Okay, follow along. Go to google.com and then search S-T-R-I-V-E math. Okay, could everybody search Strive Math on google.com? So you go to Strive Math, google.com. And then at the top of the page, you should see this link. Just click on this link, okay, the, the first one. So search, search Strive Math. Maybe it's not the first one on your computer, but the one that says www.strivemath.com. Click on this link. Then you will be taken to this page. All right, so Google Strive Math, strivemath.com. Once you're on this page, at the top left of the screen, sorry, top right, the top right of the screen, you will see a button that says class link. All right, you have to click that button that says class link. So everybody at the top right of the screen, click class link. Once you click there, that is the instruction document for today. Okay, that's what we'll be following along. along. So if, you, if you're left behind, if something happens, um, or you just want to refer to something visual, this is the document that you will see. Once you are on here, please do the setup. So please everybody go to session one. I can't zoom in here, interesting. Session one and then, and then click um, codepen.io and sign up for an account on this page, okay? So everybody should sign up for an account on codepen.io. So it's the first link here, um, this one. So everybody please, 
get on here and make an account at codepen.io. This is the same account that we'll be using every single day. So uh, make it in such a way that you can remember what it is, okay? So let me just do a quick poll. Was everybody at least able to get to the instruction document relaunch? Were you able to get to the instruction document? Yes or no? Okay, excellent. Most of us were able to get the instruction document. Super. And then um, sign up for codepen.io. I will also put some of these links in chat. If you have any questions, paste them in chat and then everybody, you guys can help each other, right? So we'll be like a fun community. And then log in for an account here. All right, we'll just give you guys a minute more to make that account. Once you've made that account, um, if you want access to these videos on the second under setup, uh, go to this to the Strive YouTube page and just follow the Strive YouTube page. And then we will, we will post the recordings of these sessions on there. Okay, so if you go to YouTube, um, just follow the Strive YouTube page. It's just loading. Hmm. Yeah, so just, just subscribe. Okay, so you can click, click subscribe here and you subscribed and we will put the recordings on here. And there's also a bunch of other recordings of like other math and code things you can do there. So we can do that. Excellent. So we'll give you guys another minute to do all of those things. All right, uh, Paul. Did you, was everybody able to create a code pen account? Were you able to create a code pen account? Nice, good, all right, 100%. Excellent, excellent, okay. Fantastic. All right, the next thing we'll do is we'll get go down to coding problem one, okay, on the instruction document. Here you'll see the first link. So what, you, what I want you to do, is open this link over here and then follow these instructions. First, click save and then rename the template. So let's do those together. I will open this link and then you will click save at the top over here. Okay. And then at the top left over here, you will rename it. Okay. You will rename this page. The naming structure I want you to follow is your full name and then P01, like project 01, P01, and then drawing, the word drawing. Okay. So your full name. P01 drawing. So everybody, please click on this link. I'll put this in chat also. This is where we will write all of our code today. So open this link, click save. It will make your own copy. It's very important that you click save. It, it will make your own copy. Click save and then rename the drawing. Once you've done that, look at my screen, look at my share screen, everybody. If you're looking at my share screen, you will see at the top right, there's a change view button. Under the change view button, your screen should look like this. I want you to pick the leftmost button under editor layout. So right now it's in the middle, move it to the left. Okay, so I'll give you 30 seconds to do that. Um, if you guys have questions, you guys can put them in chat and then I'll just read them out and answer questions from chat. Uh, I see someone raise their hand. Cool, so then change view, editor layout, the leftmost. Um, rename it to your name, your full name. So you'll see, okay, it's over here. Uh, under instruction document, your full name, P01 drawing. That's what you rename it to. Okay, full name, P01 drawing. And then if you've done the change view, your screen should look like this. Now at the bottom left, you see where it says JS over here. Whoop. It says JS over here. On the right side, you will see this down arrow. Click on this one and then click maximize JavaScript editor maximize JavaScript editor as so. So you will click this. So your screen should look something like this now. So we'll give you 30 seconds to do that. And if you get, if you get lost, just follow, come back to the instructions document, uh, read the instructions, they're all written over here. So if, you're, if you don't know what to rename it to, just take a look at the instruction document um, 
and you can do it here. Okay, so now we've done this change view, we've done the maximize. Cool, all right, let me just do a poll. Does your, does your screen look something like this? Yes or no? Does your screen look something like this? Nice, all right, everyone's following on, on pretty well. Uh, thank you folks for answering each other's questions, I love it. Okay, superb, superb, all right. Um, if you're having any issues, just click on the template link again. If you're having any issues, just click on this link again up here and then do this process from the start and then it will, it should work. Okay, so let's get, let's get started with some coding, shall we? So I will change my screen to look like this. It will be slightly different than yours. So on the instructions document, you will see on the right side, there are these questions in orange, okay? So we will do these questions in orange together. So let's do the first one at the same time. So right now, what we are looking to look at is, is these lines of code here. Okay, so let's take a look at these lines of code. That's all, you're, that's all you're caring about right now. So first it's saying that H is three. So this is the hundreds place. T is two, this is the tens place. And O is one, this is the ones place, okay? And then it's saying num or like number is equal to H times a hundred. So this becomes 300 because this is the cool part in code. Code remembers that H is equal to three from up here. Okay, the code remembers that. So this becomes 300 plus T times 10, which is 20 plus O, which is one. So this becomes 321. And if you see down here, it prints 321 for us, right? Um, you will see exactly how to do this, but for now, let's only worry about the mathematics aspect here, okay? So what we wanna do is we wanna try and do the questions that are on the right side. So let's do 1.01 .01 on the right side. It says 971, we want to print 971. So nine is in the hundreds place, seven is in the tens place, and one is in the ones place. And so you will see the code updated. Now at the bottom, I have 971, right? So I was now, I have now answered 1.01. .01. If at any point during this process, you get, you get lost or your code stops working, um, you will see this red toggle here open the red toggle, delete all of your code inside here, delete all of this code. So command A, delete, copy, copy the code from here, and then paste it back over here. Okay, all right, yeah, we'll paste it back here. So if you copy the code and paste it back, it will start working again. Um, so this is, this red area is like, if you get lost and stuck, then you can copy paste it. Um, cool, okay, so let's keep going. Let's do 1.2 together. So it says 20. Well, so we know that T, the tens place is a two, the zero, the O place is, is a zero. What about the H place? There's no hundreds place in the 20. Maybe we can put zero here. Let's try putting a zero. Then let's see what we get. Yep, we get 20 down here. Excellent. Cool, pretty straightforward, right? This is pretty simple. Um, let's do one more together and then I'll let you do all, the, all these on your own. So 1,000, so we have zero in the ones place, we have zero in the tens place, and then we have a thousand. So how do we get this to be a thousand in the hundreds place? If I put one here, I will get 100. What you can do is put 10 over here. So it does 10, 10 H becomes 10, so it does 10 times a hundred. So this becomes a thousand. Pretty cool, huh? So, all right, so I'll give you guys about five minutes to do these questions. If you're in grade, if you're in high school, you should be able to get to the challenge questions, if not finish all the challenge questions. If you're not in high school, if you're in middle school, you should be able to get at least till 1.06. Okay, so take some time, edit, edit the values up here, H, T, and O, to see if you can get these. Uh, just be careful, when you get to 1.05, be careful that here H is equal to zero, right? It's only challenging if you make H equal to zero here. So just be careful you follow those, these things in red. In 1.06, t is equal to zero. Okay. Cool, I'll give you guys five minutes to do this.
let's see, quick poll. Are these, are these uh, tricky? Yes or no, are these questions tricky? Okay, they're not tricky yet, keep going. I think the challenge questions are gonna be fun. <laughs> yeah, they're kind of tricky. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they're kind of kind of make sense. So, all right. Yeah, someone said the challenge questions are tough. Um, if you can't see the questions, look at my share screen. They're on the right side in orange. Otherwise, go to the instructions document and look at scroll down to the first orange section. Decimals are allowed, that is correct. You will need decimals for a few of these. Oh yeah, for one point zero eight 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 zero Yeah. Okay. All right. I don't know what happened. Cool. All right. So you see the questions on the right side of the screen. On my, do you see my share screen also? You can see the questions. Um, there should not be any pull up right now. Super. All right. So um, let's move on from here. Now we'll move on to um, the learning section. The only thing, the, the main thing I want you to take away from this is that in code, you can assign values to variable names. Okay. So you can do h is equal to 10, t is equal to zero, and then you can use these variable names later. Okay. That's the important thing I want you guys to, um, that's the important thing I want you guys to take away. So, um, now what we will do is in learnings, we will learn this part. So let's go through the code one by one. Here you will see the first line of code does function setup. So let me minimize this. Okay. Cool. All right. So in the first line, you will see function setup. And then it says create canvas. You see this line create canvas. And then in create canvas, it says 400, 400, right? So 400, 400 is the size of the canvas that we're create, creating. So for example, if I make this 200, 200, then this becomes, um, then this becomes a smaller canvas, yeah? So if we increase it to 400, 400, then this becomes a larger canvas again. So this is the x, this is the x value, and this is the y value. So if you want to make it really, really tall but thin, so we can make it 30 wide and then 400 tall, and you will see a very thin canvas. Yeah, super. So this is the canvas size. Then you will see in draw we have a function called background. This is the background of the canvas. So let's try a different color. Instead of black, I will try cyan, and then this will make my background light blue. 
which is a very weird color. Okay, um, this, let's try yellow. Let's try yellow. Does this work? Yep, this makes it now a super yellow one. Let's try red. Somebody wants to try red. Cool, oh, red looks pretty nice, but let's keep it to black. Black is straightforward, right? Okay, now we have stripe dot draw tick axes. So tick axes is to show you the coordinate plane on here. Okay, so the way the way we do this is there is a there's a coordinate plane on here, right? You see at the top um, where it says 0, 50, 100. Wait, let me see if this works. Okay, you see up here where it says 50, 100. So this is the x direction. Okay, this is x. And this down here is y. Now notice how in like normal computers, y goes up, right? But in, in, um, in computer, in coding actually, in graphic design, y is positive downwards. So that's why you'll see this point down here is 400, 400 Y. So the center point here will be, oh, this is weird, right? 200 comma 200 will be the X and Y coordinates of the center point. Um, let's try a different color. This point up here at the top right will be all the way X, so 400 and then zero Y, right? And then this point down here will be zero X and 400 Y. Okay, so this is how the canvas is being drawn. So striped or draw tick axis is just drawing, is labeling this canvas for you, like with these things here, so that you can see it. Okay, super. So this is this is the the canvas. Um, then what we can do is, you know, this part we just went through it. Now there's this thing called fill. You see this fill? So fill is the color of the paintbrush or the pen that we're using to draw. So let's see what happens. Let's say I make this cyan again you will notice that the text that i wrote the 1000 that became cyan because at this point in my code i picked cyan so whatever happens afterwards in my code will be done will be drawn in cyan okay in that color so the computer works from top to bottom it does this 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 in this order and it keeps working through the code uh, downwards right so if i change this to red then I put this text after picking that color, so it makes it red, okay? Now, in this one, in this text size is pretty simplistic. It's setting the size of the text. Um, in text, there are two numbers here. This is the X and Y coordinate of where that number is showing up. So let's say I want to move this number down. I want to move it down on the screen. I will increase, right, because Y is positive. I will increase the Y coordinate. So let's increase this to 300. Let's see what happens. Cool, so it, it, it moved downwards, right? Because it's at now at 50. You see how like it's at 50 and 300. Let's see now, let's move it to the center of the screen. So 200, 200. Let's see if that worked. Now this is at the, at the center of the screen, okay? So we're just following along. Um, we're just following along the learnings on the right side here. Okay, so we've done this. Now what you can do is you can change the color. So let's say I change the next color I want to draw is in yellow, all right? And then what I'll do is I will, if you guys are following me on the share screen, look at the share screen, I will copy this text size and put this down here. So first I have red, then I put some text in red, then I have yellow, and I will put some more text in yellow, but I will change the position. Let's put it at the top left corner, so 50 and 50. And then you will see you will see that the yellow one is at the top left corner, and the red one is at the other corner. So let me show you this again. Cool. Okay. So here, notice how this yellow one is 50-50. So we have 50 here, 50 here, and notice how the the red one is at 200-200. So 200 here, and 200 here. So it's at the center there. Yeah. Um, cool. So this is how you can. This is how you can uh, put the text. So what I would like everybody to do now is if you've understood this, um, do this practice problem here. See if you can get a yellow one, two, three at the top left and a blue one, two, three at the bottom right side of the screen. Okay, so a yellow one, two, three at the top left of the screen and a blue one, two, three at the bottom right of the screen. 
And I will zoom into this code so you can see what my code looks like. So let's do this now. So if you want to make it one, two, three, we can do one here, two, three, three here. And then again, if at any time your code stops working, it's not working, on the right side of the screen, open this red, this red dropdown, this red toggle, uh, copy this code and paste it in. Oh, actually, this code is different. Um, that's OK. Cool. All right, super. So to put, to put one, two, three at the top left in yellow, I will change the first color to yellow. And then I want it to be top left, so 50, 50. And then the bottom right is blue, so I will do blue and then put it at 300 comma 300. See if this works out. Nice, cool. So we have one, two, three at the top left, one, two, three at the bottom right. Yeah, the, the bottom one can be anywhere on the bottom. It doesn't have to be exact. So let's do a quick poll. Um, were you able to get your screen looking something like this? Does your screen look something like this? Let me close my window. OK, super. Um, if, it, if it doesn't look like this, then, um, then don't worry. We will do some cool stuff afterwards, and you can follow along at that part. OK, cool. So this is, this is pretty straightforward. We understand fill. What you need to know in, in fill is just one thing that you should know in fill is it doesn't have to be the name of a color. So for example, if somebody wants to do navy blue, the computer won't recognize navy blue. OK, so it, it will say it will show a white color because the computer doesn't recognize navy blue. So what you can do is put in the RGB values. So you can search the RGB. If you know RGB, you can, you can do it. If you don't, don't worry about it. So let's try green, so 75, 139, 1, If you do these RGB values, you will see a green one come up. So this is RGB of green. And then you can also do hex code. So for hard RGB, just make sure the three numbers are separated by two commas. And so instead of RGB, you can also do hex. So remember to put the quotes. The quotes are very important. OK, the quotes is important. Then the, dollar, the pound sign. Pound sign is very important. And let's do green again. I think it's 00FF00. Zero, zero, zero. Let's see, does this show up as green? Yep, it shows up as green again. So pretty, pretty straightforward, right? Um, so there's, there's, three, there's three options of colors you can do. Um, you can Google search hex colors and RGB values of different colors, and you can get it from there, OK? Super. All right, so now we've done the practice. Now we're going to make this a little more complicated. So everybody, look at my screen, please. This part is very important that you do this correctly. OK, look at my screen very carefully. I will select this code over here, and then I'm going to delete this code, OK? It's very, very important that you do not, do not delete this curly bracket at the end of the screen, OK? Do not delete that. It's very important. So only delete this part of the code from, from H to text. So what you should have is something that looks like this. The, the end curly is very important, because if you remove this, the code will stop working. Um, in the future. Like as you keep going, it will stop working. So let's put this back in. All right. So make sure that you keep the end curly here. Excellent. All right. So let's let's do the first part. So there are three functions we can three shapes we can draw. So the first shape is circle. And circle takes in three inputs: x, y, and diameter. The x and y is the x and y coordinate of the center of the screen. So so the center of the screen, sorry, sorry, the x and y coordinate of the center of the circle. 
So in this case, let's say I want to draw a circle at the center of the screen. So the center of the circle will be at 200, 200, right? And this is diameter, not radius. Careful, diameter. Let's make this 100 pixels wide. So if we come down here, you will see there's a circle at the center of the screen at 200, 200. And the diameter of this circle is 100 pixels. And let's give this a nice color. So let's do fill. And I like to do cyan for this one. OK, so a circle has three inputs, x, y diameter. Now we will pick green for the next shape. For green, what I want to do is I want to draw a rectangle. So the rectangle function is RECT. OK, RECT with open, open parentheses. <laughs> Be careful, guys. It's not W-R-E-K-T. It's not that rect, OK? It's R-E-C-T rect. <laughs> so just get the spelling correct. Also, uh, spelling, spelling and capitalization matters. Do not, do not capitalize any of these. If your code isn't working, just make sure you're not capitalizing any of these things. Code is very particular. So rect takes in four inputs, x, y, length, width, OK? So the x and y coordinate is the x and y coordinate of the top left most point of the rectangle. So let's say, let's say first I want to put this one at, let's say I'm on a square. So I'll do 50, 50. And then I want the top leftmost point to be at 30, 30. OK, so if we come down here, you will see it, it drew us a square for me where the top leftmost point is at 30, 30. And the dimensions of this rectangle is 50, 50. So let's say I want to make this a really, a really wide rectangle. Rectangle. I think it's length. I think length is what I will increase. Let's try. 300. Does that increase length? Yeah, so the first one increases this way. This way. And then um, the height is this one. So let's say I want to make this very narrow, so 10. So this should decrease the height. Cool, right? And then I can move this around. I can move it around. So let's say I want to bring this down slightly. Then I will increase the y value to bring it down on the y-axis. So let's put this at 100. So let's see if this works. Cool, this works, right? So we have this rectangle. So now you know circle, now you know rectangle. And then let's do a triangle. So I'll do fill yellow. I'll draw a yellow triangle. And then for triangle, it's tri triangle. If it's not working, just double check your spelling and double check your um, capitalization. And keep saving your code as you go along. Uh, saving your code is very important. Um, otherwise, you may lose it. So for triangle, it takes in six inputs, x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3. So these are the, the coordinates of the three points of the triangle. All right, so three points of the triangle. So let's say I want to draw a triangle that shows up like this. Let's say I want a triangle that draws, this one is, I think it's yellow, right? Let's do yellow. I want a triangle that goes like this. So this point here is 200, wow, uh, 200, right? This point here is, in the x direction, it's 400, 400 x and 200 y, right? 200 y. And then this point here is x is 200 and y is 400. Sorry about the handwriting. I'm writing on a weird angle. So let's try this. Let's delete this and let's do this uh, code. So the center point is 200, 200. The rightmost point was 400, 200. And the bottommost point was 200, 400. Let's see if I have my triangle. And voila, I have my triangle coming up like this, right? So excellent. Um, Let's see if I can, yeah, let's just, let's do this for now. So cool. So if you are able to follow this long, you have three functions up here, circle, rectangle, and triangle. On the right side, you will see in this, in this area here, um, where I'm showing you the, the equations that you need to know, right? How it's like. So you can take a look at the instructions document. And then what I'd like you to do is see if you can get to practice five. See if you can draw this image. So first, you'll have to draw a full circle, then cover the bottom half with a green rectangle, and then draw this triangle. So see if you can do practice three, four, and five, and if you're able to do this.
All right, so if you have any questions, um, you can ask your questions in chat. I'll give you guys about, about um, four, three or four minutes to do this one. You don't have to do it like this also, you can change up the colors if you want. Cool, so we have some questions. How do we change the size of the circle? So to change the size of the circle, you change the last, the last variable in, um, in the circle. It's the diameter of the circle, okay? Yeah, if you want to experiment with adding text on these shapes, you can, but just be careful that um, since this is not a one-on-one -on -one class, I won't be able to help you debug. Uh, we do one-on-one -on -one classes also where we can help you debug, but if you try something and then you get lost, then we won't be able to help you out much. Uh, so just be careful. If you, if you want to experiment, go ahead and do it. But then if you get lost, just like come back to where, where we were together. All right, let me do a quick poll where you have you been able to create the the practice five drawing? Have you been able to create the practice five drawing? Okay, we'll give you sixty more seconds. So, if you want to increase the the rectangle. It's the, the, last two, the last two variables are the height and the width of the rectangle. So make sure each number is separated by a comma and then just change the last two numbers over here. And that should, that should show you how to change the height and the width of the rectangle, okay? Awesome, I'm glad. I'm glad people are trying out different things also. Excellent. All right, so I'm sure you're all itching to try your own thing. So what we will do is um, there's this coding challenge. So if you scroll down to the instructions document, you will see this coding challenge here. So what you can do is you can delete all your shapes and you can draw anything you want, all right? Uh, these are some examples, a house, an animal, a smiley face, Santa Claus. You can draw a lightsaber. Um, we had somebody draw a fidget spinner. You can make an iPhone, whatever you want. You can draw anything you want. You know how to change the colors. You know how to add shapes and things like that. So you can do all of that over here, okay? Um, before that, so, so that we are able, let me show you something really cool. Um, let's see, how do I show this to you? So we have, we have profiles. For each student, we have profiles. And so we're gonna create a profile for you. Uh, let's see, example profile. So this is what a profile is going to look like. And so whatever you create today will be hosted on your profile. So you'll have your photo, your name, and then under highlighted project, there will be your code. So whatever you draw today will show up on your profile if you want it. Can you hear me? Can you put a yes in chat if you can still hear me? Yeah, okay, cool, thank you. Um, yeah, so this you can use this profile for your college applications or for internship applications or to show your friends. And so, um, we're creating this profile for you. So there's a bunch of projects under here. And so we'll have more projects for you. So for today, this is the first project. So for that, what I would like you to do is under instructions document, there is this link at the bottom of this document. You see this link where it says this link that I've highlighted here. You see this one? Let me also put this link in chat. I would like you to, um, I would like you to fill out this link. And it's, it's asking for your parents' detail because we have to, um, we have to get permission from your parents to make this public profile. So we will be contacting your parents and asking them to uh, get permission if we can make your profile for you. So fill out this link and let me show you what to do in this, in this one. 
So for a name, put in your full name, please, because this is what will show up on your profile. Email, put, it, put in your entire email. Under parent full name, put in your parent's full name. And email, put in your parent's email. For phone number, put in the country code as well. Uh, put in your personal emails. Don't put in your school emails. Put in your personal emails if you have them. If you don't, that's okay. For school, put in your full name of the school. So I went to British International School, Shanghai. Put in the full name, all right? Um, so if you're in, in the UWC East, put in UWC East. If you're in Dover, put in Dover. So just put in the entire name. In grade, let's say I am in fourth or below, because, yeah, because why not? And then you can attach a profile picture, okay? So you can attach an image if you want. So let's do submit. After this, you'll be taken to a new page, okay? So you'll be taken to a new page. Under project title, so follow along, look at my share screen. This is very important you get this correct, okay? It's my, just follow along for this one. Check project title, Chinese New Year Bootcamp Day 1, and code pen URL. For code pen URL, wherever you're writing the code, go to the URL and press copy. Okay, copy this URL and put it in. Your URL should look a little different. It should have a bunch of like, it should have your username in here. So whatever your username was should be in here. If it says Stride, you, you've copied and pasted the wrong profile. So it should be like username here. And then it should have, let's see, can I get an actual profile from somewhere? Mm. Okay, well anyways, just be careful, just copy the, the URL and post this URL in here. And then under profile, look for your own name. So if I search Polkit, right now there's two Polkits because I signed up twice. But pick, pick the Polkit. So the, it's Polkit grade four. This was the one, grade four, like G4. BRI is for British International School. So you'll be able to find yourself. Then find yourself and put this in here. Any questions on, on this form? Um, once you fill out this form, there will be a, a link for student profiles that I can show you. So your profile will be made and your profiles, your code will be on there. Okay. So for the URL link, copy the URL link of your current code pen. So wherever you're coding, make sure it's saved. And then you copy this, this URL from the current code pen. And then you paste that in there, OK? So copy the current code pen and paste that in there. Super. So if it's the current one, you can modify it. It's, that's fine, because you'll keep saving it, and the current link will get saved, OK? Don't don't modify the link. Just don't modify the link. Just pay. Just paste the the normal URL um, in in there. All right. Then once you've done this, then you guys can get started and um, do the draw anything of your own, anything that you want to draw. So we'll give you we'll give you a little bit of time to draw something. And I will put on some coding music for us. Oh, actually, before I do that, some of you are asking for cool things. If you want to try out different shapes, you go to Google, search p5.js shapes. So the library, the code that we're using is called p5.js. It's a special type of code that we're using. Um, and then put shapes on Google, p5.js shapes. And then you will click on the first link. And you will see, no, not, oh, I guess not the first one. This is not working. Okay, let's just go to p5.js, search p5.js, go to home, and then under home, search shapes. Does this work? Whoa, what's happening? <laughs> All right, oh, go to references, p5.js references, and then go to shape over here. So let me just send this link also, if you guys want to try different shapes. Okay, so I've sent the link for other shapes. You can try. I would recommend 
if you're struggling, don't try any shapes right now. Stick with this. There's a bunch of cool stuff you can do. So someone asked me this morning, can I do a, can I do a crescent? So let me show you how to do a crescent. It's actually pretty cool. So let's say we want a moon. So we'll do white moon. This is what the moon looks like. What I can do is draw a black circle on top of it to cover a certain part. So a circle, 200, 200, 100. And then I'll move the circle down slightly. So let's move it down by 50. So now my white moon is covered by a black circle. Why is this not working? Mm. Let's try this again. Oh, a circle spelling mistake. C-I-R-C-L-E. -C -C -E. There we go. Yeah, thanks. Thank you for calling that out. Ooh, that's too big of a crescent. Let's make the increments smaller. Let's do 220. And there we go. There we have a moon. Right? So you can you can cover up shapes also. So just think think very creatively. How can you cover up these shapes with blacks, uh, with black color shapes or whatever your background color is? And then you should be able to draw some cool shapes. And let's see, if you guys are submitting, there's a filled out the profile, I should also be able to jump in and take a look at your code. So just keep saving your code. If you keep saving it, I can take a look as well. Okay, we, we're still missing a few profiles. So could, could the people that haven't filled this out yet, could you please fill out the Airtable link? So I'll put this link in chat again. So if you haven't filled this out yet, please fill this out. Oh, oh yeah, I said I was going to play some coding music. Let's play some coding music. All right, coding music coming up in three, two, one. It's going to be loud, okay? So be careful. Three, two, one. All right. Yeah, if you were part of the morning session, you don't need to submit the form again. Um, we have some questions coming in. So you can, you can make a line. Line takes in four inputs, x1, y1, and x2, y2. Um, if you are having syntax errors, um, just delete everything and copy paste the starter code from the red section. Let me show you how to do that again. One second.
So if you're having errors, just uh, open up this coding, the red section of the coding challenge, copy paste this in and then start again. Um, if you're having other errors, just make sure some, some common mistakes people make is, um, see. make sure that you, all your, your parentheses, if you have an open parentheses, make sure you put in a closing parentheses. Um, if you put in colors, make sure you put the quotes around the colors. The quotations make a big difference. Um, you can also make sure that the spelling is correct and there's no capitalizations on any of your words. And yeah, if there are other errors, you can put them in chat if you see anything. Um, if you have anything to say or if you have any things, then. So for more specific colors, you can you can do uh, the RGB values or the uh, hex values. If you remember up here under under learnings on the right side, you'll see there's a section where it says green um, in text and then green in RGB, RGB and green in hex. So you can do those. Just don't forget the, the quotation marks around those colors. Um, for other shapes, mostly you can, these are the three main shapes you can make. Um, I would start with these shapes and, and see what you can draw. You can draw a bunch of cool stuff with these shapes already. So see what you can draw. Um, if anybody has something cool that they drew that they want to show everybody else, why don't you copy paste your code in chat and I'll pull it out and and we'll show it to everybody. Um, if you have something that is that you drew that is pretty cool. So you can just copy paste your entire code into chat and we can show it to people. All right, we have code coming in from Karan. Let's take a look at this. What did he draw? Let's see. Mm. Oh, he drew a fidget spinner. Cool, that's awesome. Good job, well done. Good job understanding this. Excellent. All right, anybody else wants to share their code? Good job, Karan. So hopefully you submitted your profile, Karan, so this will show up on your profile. Um, anybody else wants to share their code? Uh, okay, so <laughs> I see. So this person joined the morning session also. So that's why double classes. I love it. Getting a double dip into the sessions. Anybody else wants to share their code? Cool. So what I would like, um, if you want, okay, let me do a quick poll. Do you want access to your profile? Yes or no? Do you want access to your profile? Let's do a poll. Would you like to see your profile? Okay, cool. All right, then just before we end, I'll show you how to get the profile right at the end, but could everybody, could you please fill out this link then? Could you please fill out this feedback form? And then I'll show you guys how to get access to the profile. We'd we'll love to get feedback on the session. Um, the next session will be tomorrow at the same time and at 10 a.m. Singapore time, same Zoom link. You can join um, whenever you want. You don't have to register for one specifically. You can just join the Zoom link. So I'll give you two minutes to fill out that feedback form, and then I'll show you where your profiles are. The profiles are really exciting, actually. So you can fill out the feedback form by clicking the link on the instructions document as well. All right, quick poll. Are you done with the feedback form?
Nice. Okay. Darsha was able to do the, uh, the practice five. Good job. Well done. This code looks right. Cool. So for the profiles, let me show you how to get there. So in the instructions document, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you will see all student profiles down here. Do you see that? All student profiles. So click all student profiles. And then there will be a table and you should be able to find yourself in this table. Let's see. There we go. So then you're able to find yourself and then you can click see profile. So let's go to Pulkit, see profile. And then it will show you your image, your level. And I have no projects. If there's no projects, you haven't filled out the second link, the project link. So let's see, let's do the first one, John Smith. So he has this, these are his profiles. So you guys can open up your own profiles, okay? And take a look. So each, each day that we go through this, we'll, we'll create one more project. So your profile will have one more project added. And so um, use the same link, keep adding code to this. We're at time. Keep adding code to your, your code pen because your profile will be updated. To get to the profiles page and the instructions document, scroll all the way to the bottom and you will see a link that says all student profiles. So you can go to all student profiles and you can take, you can open up your link and you can share your link also. So if you take this link, let's say this one, you can copy this link and share it with people. Um, let's see, Pulkit. So you can copy this link and share this with people and they will, they'll be able to access your profile from there. Cool. So add in your code, make some cool drawings to so show up on your profile. And then next time we're going to get started with um, some other stuff. So let me send you all out with some cool music. So we're going to send you out with some Italian music. How's about that for today? So thank you all for joining. I hope this was fun. Um, actually, let me, I would love to know, let's do a quick poll. Was this fun? Yes or no? Was this fun? Awesome, cool, I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm very glad. I'm very glad that you enjoy this. All right, so music coming up, it's gonna be loud, be careful. In three, two, one. Bella ciao, bella ciao, bella ciao, 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 partita.